No more antlers, please. Hi guys, what's up? Your boy Al is here with my dear friend Nokoten episode 6 review so hold your dears and enjoy the ride. At first we see the narrator thanks the viewers for watching the anime and mentions that they would like to reward them with 18 mini episodes. Warning people that this episode will be more bizarre huh? I see what you did there narrator Sam, but we are already brain dead from watching this anime so who gives a deer? We then cut to the deer club where Nokoten is performing strange tricks in front of Koshi. Koshi checks the club's finances and realizes they're out of cash, which frustrates her. Nokoten suggests selling her antlers on Mercury. Koshi follows the suggestion and successfully sells the antlers on Mercury. Koshi should have sold Nokoten, that way she would have gained more funds. Also I think I should hire Koshi to sell my videos, because you guys are giving me views these days. Nokoten approaches Koshi with the idea of selling body pillows and shows her a prototype of the product. Koshi tamps with the body pillow and doesn't give Nokoten a clear response. Sorry to burst your bubble Nokoten, but your body pillow ain't for normal humans. Nokoten suggests selling Deer Club t-shirts instead. Koshi agrees, and Nokoten tries one on, but Koshi finds her way of wearing the t-shirt odd. Come on Koshi, don't be a racist to Nokoten just because she is a human deer hybrid and doesn't know how to wear a t-shirt. Koshi visits a store and leaves with a boba tea, struggling to drink it. She realizes that the straw in her cup is actually an antler. Nokoten watches from a distance, snickering. Honest question to everyone, if any of you ever had boba tea, can you tell me what's so good about it? We see Nokoten and Anko host the Natsu Natsu shopping show, where Nokoten showcases a new antler seal case, offering it for 2,980 yen instead of 29,800 yen. They present more deals, hoping to entice viewers into buying their main product. Nico, watching, turns off her TV in disbelief at the promotion of what she considers a worthless product. Meanwhile, Chiharu and Kinu discuss Chiharu's purchase of the antler product and the extra goods Nokoten and Anko advertised. Chiharu gives Kinu one of her antlers, and Kinu thanks her. Nico watches them from afar, confused. Don't worry Nico, I know you buy those antler-shaped items pretty soon, because that's how innocent you are. We see Nokoten, Bashaim, and Koshi walking together when Koshi notices several cute things along the way. Bashaim and Nokoten assure Koshi that they are cuter and stronger than those things. Bashaim, can you tell the world why you want to be stronger than anything and everything? Nokoten insists that Koshi, Anko, and Bashaim start a rock band with her. Anko and Bashaim volunteer for odd roles, which Nokoten accepts. This leaves Koshi to handle all the instruments since Nokoten wants to be the vocalist. Honestly speaking, I have never seen or heard about some of those instruments. Koshi and Anko head to school, with Koshi mocking the narrator's summer comments. They discuss their summer uniforms, and Anko makes odd remarks about Koshi's outfit, leaving her uncomfortable. Meanwhile, students comment on their activities. Anko, everyone knows that you are horny for your sister, but at least keep your horniness in check in public. Then we see Nokoten and Koshi visit the deer club, where Koshi wonders if Nokoten ate something bad off the ground. Nokoten assures her that she only eats deer crackers from the ground. Bashaim tells Nokoten she's suffering from rice blast disease, which the narrator explains to the audience. Nokoten believes she's a rice plant, but Bashaim insists she's still a deer and suggests she should cure herself. Nokoten agrees and tells Koshi she wants to leave the deer club. Sunoda then appears, and Koshi notices that Nokoten and Sunoda have similar white spots. Anko suggests that Nokoten is actually molting, which the narrator also explains. Nokoten shows Koshi her former skin, which Koshi promptly throws in the trash. Bashaim rushes to retrieve it and puts it on. I can understand Nokoten molting, but her clothes molting alongside her? Well that's a new one I guess. Also Bashaim, stop relating everything to rice. At the end we see Nico ask Kinu and Chiharu for updates on their plan to destroy the deer club. Kinu responds that she has nothing to report as she didn't agree to the plan. 
Nico becomes angry with Kinu. Nokoden then appears and shows Nico and the others a creature she claims is a Tsukunoko. Nico disputes this, but Nokoden insists. Chihara names the creature Tsuchi and Nokoten tries to feed it various items it loves, but Tsuchi refuses. Eventually, Tsuchi eats chalk, and Kinu suggests that Nico should touch it. Nico forms a bond with Tsuchi. Koshi enters the room, sensing the odd atmosphere, and the narrator informs the audience that the student council and deer club will raise Tsuchi together. Can someone please tell me what's so cute about that horn ball? Hear horn, their horn, everywhere horn horn. Nonetheless, this episode felt less comedic to me, the humor in this one felt very forced to me for some reason. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.